I really tried to like shorten down the title of this, but I don't really know how to. And that's a problem for uh, later to worry about. Uh, but this is kind of good news. This is kind of good news. Uh, so we just found out that one of the key witnesses for the State Department in the case against Julian Assange uh, to get him extradited to the United States lied and he confessed to an Icelandic um, newspaper about it. Oh, sorry. Bumped the mic. And uh, so let's let's get into this, right? So I'm going to probably butcher his name. Sig Sigurdur Ingi Thordison. Thord Thordorsen? Yeah, I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> That's, I, I did not. Uh, but it goes by S Siggy, right? Um, so it, it, dur during the trial, if you paid attention to the Assange trial, you probably heard the testimony from Siggy and Sabu, who were, who were these hackers. And Siggy worked for Julian Assange under WikiLeaks, and the claim was that he coerced Siggy to hack into, um, you know, the Icelandic government and the and this Icelandic NATO bank uh, and uh, expose a bunch of stuff. And he did it illegally by coercing this poor, poor, sweet Siggy. Uh, well, it turns out none of that was actually fucking true. He, he never actually worked for WikiLeaks. He was... Um, he was there in a limited capacity and he volunteered for them to help raise funds. And then he embezzled $50,000 like from WikiLeaks. Basically, he stole a bunch of money from WikiLeaks. What a winner. Uh, the State Department was basically using this as a testi as testimony to prove that he is a hacker, that Julian Assange is not a publisher, he's a hacker, and it was somehow proof that he also coerced, like, oh, if he can coerce this dude, this person from Iceland, oh, oh, but, but then he could definitely uh, coerce Chelsea Manning. And so they basically used that as a way to keep Chelsea Manning in prison and to claim that Assange was a, um, a fiend, a hacking fiend. Ooh. Again, never true. Um, Assange never instructed him to hike or hack the Icelandic uh, government or the or this Icelandic bank. Uh, what happened with the Icelandic banks is uh, they were the, it, it was whistleblowers from inside that blew the whistle on all the fraudulent shit that they were doing. And Ziggy didn't hack into the bank. He used his own fucking credentials to get in there. Similar to how Chelsea Manning didn't hack the United States military. She used her own credentials to get in there. And the only thing he did was, like, help her figure out some stuff. Like, he pointed her in the right direction. And then she was like, oh, great, now I'm in. Here's the information about U.S. war crimes. Because, you know, Chelsea Manning has a fucking conscience unlike the United States military who indiscriminately kills civilians and journalists, which is a war crime. But hey, those rules don't apply to the, the United States. They're a white country. No big deal. When white people murder swaths of uh, vaguely brown people, it is, it's, that's, it's just like a, oh, you scamps. You scamps, look at what you're doing, huh? Committing genocide. Oh, you rascals. Oh, I can't wait till this phase is over. You know how everybody goes through a genocide phase? So, uh, Ziggy also, Ziggy was the one that con contacted Sabu, who was infiltrated by the FBI. He was basically an FBI informant. And when they found out that this person that's claiming that he's worked with Julian Assange... Uh, is contacting this informant. They got the FBI got real excited and basically tried to talk to him and like tried to get him to expose important detail 
uh about like uh, what what the security at wikileaks is like like oh or uh does does julian assange have security like, why would you need to know that oh i know because you're trying to murder julian assange So there's this little conspiracy going on, right? The CIA is doing something by spying on him at the Ecuadorian embassy. The FBI is trying to coerce somebody to give him de security detail about Assange. These are the people that the Democrats want to trust, right? Again, it wasn't a hack. It was a leak out of the DNC, and that's provable. Because it was delivered to WikiLeaks on a flash drive. The DNC leaks were leaks. They were not hacks. Now, this is where things get fun with this story. Uh, Ziggy is a diagnosed sociopath, which means he is incapable of feeling remorse for what he, what, what he does. So if he does something wrong, he just, hey, I did it and I deserve to do it. And yeah, that's what it is. Like they just don't, you know, that's what sociopaths are. They just don't feel remorse. They don't feel the need to apologize, but they're also smart enough to know that that's not how society operates. So they know how to feign apologies. They're very good actors. Um, I've dealt with sociopaths in my life before and uh, they're, they're very smart, intelligent people that know how to use other people's. They find a way to trust you and get into your lives and uh, and then they, you know, they attack you because they're looking for notoriety. They just want unlimited fame and they want people to follow them regardless. They, you know, but they're hucksters. And not only is he a diagnosed sociopath, confirmed uh, sociopath, he has been charged with multiple counts of child molestation and rape. And that's the State Department's key witness against Julian Assange, a diagnosed sociopath who's also a child rapist. And the State Department's like, that's our guy! <laughs> oh, and now he's a confessed liar. He committed perjury. On stage, <laughs> put on trial and lied, and basically said, oh, everything I said was a fucking lie. So my question is, why the fuck is Julian Assange still in Belmarsh prison? Why hasn't he been released into the custody of his family? And there, there's no, oh, well, what if he jumps ship? Well, first of all, he went to prison for some shit that he, that, that, that's, that's been proven to be false. There was an investigation that Sweden dropped three times because they were like, there's not enough evidence to go on the sexual assault charge. And even he was like, yeah, I'm willing to do this but i'm i'm not coming to sweden so you guys can lock me up and extradite me to the united states because sweden does that he was illegally removed from asylum and then he served the time that he was supposed to serve for quote skipping bail which was 50 weeks and then they said he's a flight risk when where how where was that evidence? Nope, none. They drew a cartoon of Julian Assange with wings. See, flight risk. He drank a Red Bull one time and he gained wings. He's been hiding those. Where are those wings, Julian? That was basically the UK courts. The, the key witness just said that everything he said was a lie. He's also a sociopath who's apparently on the run now. Oh, and he's a child rapist. What did the judge call uh, Julian Assange? A narcissist of the highest order or something? No, but you're going to accept uh, testimony from a fucking child rapist who is a sociopath, incapable of feeling remorse for what he did, and is known to manipulate the fuck out of people. That's your key witness. Why is this even being discussed? How is Julian Assange not out of prison yet? He should have been out of prison the second they said that the United States shouldn't extradite him because the prison systems here are so bad that he might commit suicide. <laughs> he
he should be let out, sent back to the custody of his family so that he can recover from the trauma caused by imperialism, by the United States court, by the UK court, by the by 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 the Ecuadorian embassy that was being run by a fucking corporate shithead. All of them owe him apologies. The nation of Australia owes him an apology because they fucking abandoned him. Why is he still in prison? Let's look at your comments. Holly says this should end the case. Yes. Yeah, there's there's no more case for them. There was I mean there wasn't a case to begin with. <laughs> but you know, now it's like all of your bullshit propaganda is just dissolved. Pick your really. You picked a child rapist over a fucking publisher. Say Siggy the hacker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they call them, right? When it's like you used a password. I like that they also call him a teenager. Thank you for pointing that out, uh, Holly. Is because uh, I so let me see if I can pull up a photo of him and share it because. I think he looks like uh, he looks like the kid from Bad Santa. Have you guys seen that movie, Bad Santa? Um, because I think he looks like the grown-up version of that that kid from that movie. So let me uh, let me see if I can find it because it's very it's comical to me. Oh man, where is that? Where's the article? The actual article. Sorry. I'll find a different article that I know uses a photo of him. Damn it. I can't even remember what the, uh, the publication is called now for some reason. From Iceland. Oh man, there there's like a specific photo that I want and I don't have it and it makes me uh makes me very sad. Oh, there it is. There's the article. Cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. Now I can share it. It's it's kind of the uh title photo of what I what I did. But I want to share this with you guys cuz I think he kind of looks like uh like the kid from Look at this. Doesn't he kind of look like the grown-up version of uh the kid from Bad Santa? Let me see if I can find the kid from Bad Santa. I'll do I'll do a little side like you can see this photo and then um Yeah, oh my god. He totally looks like the adult version of that. So, I'm going to stop sharing that one and then I'm going to share with you guys this new tab. Sorry, I know this is a weird thing for me to do, but I kind of really want to show you guys that I really think that he looks like he looks like that kid. He looks like the kid from Bad Santa. Like the adult version of the kid from Bad Santa. And it's like, go figure, the kid from Bad Santa turns out to be a fucking sociopath, right? Like, go fucking figure. Student, thank you. Uh, Cynical Girl says, once he even sought the FBI expert help in uploading video from his own phone yeah i thought that was per that, that part <laughs> that would be like if my mom was my my mom fucking broke into my computer and was like how do i show the things there's a i'm back on the home screen i don't know what i'm is it do i press the send button i think i just sent you a text did i send you a text <laughs> There is no case. Julian Assange should not be in prison. You've kept him in prison for damn near fucking two years. The, the fucking judge said you shouldn't be, he shouldn't be extradited. Your key witness to extradition just fucking confessed that he lied and has been confirmed to be a sociopath and a child rapist. The United States government went after a publisher. 
using a child rapist as their key witness, a sociopathic child rapist. This government is a joke. There is no press freedom in America if that's the case. If they still keep them in prison, that's it. There's there's no more case you could make that America is the bastion of fucking press freedom because we're not. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit the like button and please make sure you share this content out. Sharing is very important. Sharing is how independent media gets the word out there about topics that corporate media doesn't even want to mention on their networks. So it's really up to you guys. Corporate media very much depends on the people. We are people-powered media. That's what we really are. Uh, another great way to help if you're on stable financial ground is to uh, make a financial contribution to this channel. And you can do so over at krishmohanhaha.com slash donate. You can become a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets, early access to videos, bonus stand-up comedy and storytelling content, uh, a way for you to communicate directly with me, ask me questions, and other uh, premium content that uh, will be released on a monthly basis. Um, or you can make a one-time donation as well on that same website. Um, I also have uh, various stand-up comedy albums. I have about six comedy albums out right now uh, that are available on my website at krishmohanhaha.com. And most of them, if you get them off of Bandcamp, are available for a dollar or a, a pay-what-you-want pricing. And I also want to mention that I do have an online merch store. Uh, you can go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com, click on the merch tab, and check out all of the designs that I've made myself. And the Julian Assange shirt, there is a Julian Assange shirt that's on the website. All the profit from the Julian Assange designs will be going to uh, pro-Assange activists, such as Action for Assange, uh, Kevin Gastola, Richard Methurst, folks uh, 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 that, that are covering and talking about Assange. So I'm going to be making donations to them. Um, uh, it'll be 100% of the profits I make off of that shirt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. Thank you again to all the people that have made contributions to the show, that regularly check out my content, that have subscribed to my channels. I, I very, very much appreciate it. And, uh, and you guys help keep this, uh, keep, keep this, this train a moving. So I, I very much appreciate that. Until the next video, we'll see you on the road. See you guys.